Okay, Ellie, how much do you pay for a cup of coffee, depending on its size? Um, depending on its size, I usually either get an iced coffee or um, a soy misto, and it's usually like, I think it's like $3 for a grande, and then maybe like $4 for a venti. Okay. Um, do you typically pay more for better quality coffee? Yes, I do. I usually go to Starbucks, which I need to stop doing because I'm spending all my <laughs> money there. And um, do you purchase K-Cups at all? Do you use a Keurig machine? Um, we have a Keurig machine at work, so I never purchase K-Cups. I use it at work, though, a lot. Okay, great. Um, so how important is it to you that you have coffee on a daily basis? Um, it's very important. Sometimes I just kind of forget and it gets too late in the day and I'm very unproductive and grumpy. And how much time would you think you spend buying coffee? Um, now that I've got the Starbucks app, not very long. <laughs> like two minutes to order it and then I just go pick it up and it's sitting right there. So it's pretty instant. Mm -hmm. Um, and where do you normally drink your coffee? Is it on the go? Yeah, I usually drink my coffee on the go at my desk. Once in a while, I'll have time to like sit down with someone and have coffee. But that's not the usual. Great. Um, so describe your food and drink product spending habits in online stores. If you, if you do any. Um, I don't really buy any food or drinks online. Okay. And how much are you willing to pay for a package of 10 coffees from an online retailer? Um, maybe like 15 bucks. And when thinking about purchasing food and beverage items online, what would you value in that purchase? Um, I would value that I would come straight to my door and I wouldn't have to run to the grocery store because it's kind of irritating in the city. Um, and then I'd value, like, I actually have used, like, Thrive Market online, which I like, and they give good deals for, like, organic good food. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so are you drinking coffee for the taste or for energy or health benefits or a combination? Um, I would say mostly energy, so I can focus on my work during the day, but I also like it to taste good. Um, yeah. And how many cups of coffee per day do you usually drink? Usually one to two. And when do you typically buy it during the day? I usually buy it at around 10.30 a.m. Do you struggle to find time to purchase coffee in the mornings or throughout the day? Yes, I do. That's when I forget to drink it it's because <laughs> I always am like, I'm going to get it at 10.30 and then I get distracted working and it's 1 p.m. and I don't want to um, get it too late and not be able to fall asleep. Okay, and what is your favorite coffee origin or region if you have one? Um, I really like Pike Place, I think it's called, from Starbucks. I think that's like Seattle. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, um, it might be. I also drank the Colombian dark roast Keurig coffees. So how does that influence your coffee purchasing decision in a cafe or supermarket? Um, it doesn't really influence it that much. I don't really care where it's from as long as I like the taste and it has a lot of caffeine. And what's important for you in the way that your coffee tastes? How do you differentiate good coffee versus bad coffee? Um, I would say I like a rich, bold flavor Ooh. with maybe like a touch of almond milk. Maybe some caramel or vanilla flavor. Okay. And would you be willing to pay more for specialty coffee? Um, for instance, if it's grown in smaller batches at individually owned farms or if it's fair trade? Um, yeah, I like that. The idea of that. It's like a nice, I don't know. A nice treat, I guess. Great. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>